They're off over two and a half miles in the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Maiden Hurdle. Ferrum Footing's one of the first to begin with Japers Jack. Not far behind them is Steel Cable and Grange Clear West as they go down to the first flight. Good Shiva's on the outside of Summer Melody. All safely over the first as they've uh, quite a run to the second and Kudashiva improves on the outside to join Steel Cable, Japers Jack, Ferrum Footings next with Summer Melody. Last time course bumper winner. They're followed by Grange Clear West as they make the bend to come across to the straight. Kudashiva moves on by a couple of lengths to Steel Cable, Japers Jack, Ferrum Footings, races in company with Summer Melody. And then the Flying Spur and Grange Clare West break of four lengths to My Trump Card. It was followed by Gold Haven and Man from Inverlochy on the inside is Coolavon Boy. As they come up to their final two miles, Buddy One is next with El Popo Chapo. And then Jill Supreme leveling off for flights two, three, and four in the home straight. And it's Kudeshiva upholding a couple of lengths advantage over Japers Jack, disputing the second with Steel Cable and Ferrum Footings. Steel Cable wrapped that flight. After Ferrum Footings is the Flying Spur and Summer Melody and Grange Clear West. Four or five lengths then to My Trump Card and Gold Haven. Coolavon Boy is next. As they reach the center flight in the straight, then Man from Inverlochy and Kin Brace. And Buddy One next with Jill Supreme getting a reminder. In between horses is the man in the boots and the Nimbus boy, flight number four, and the final flight next time. Kudashiva over cleanly, again far from flown steel cable, almost lost man from Inverlochy, brought him to stand still, that mistake. As the leader is Kudashiva by a couple of lengths to steel cable, and third is Japers Jack, and fourth is Ferrum Footings, then the Flying Spur and Summer Melody and Grange Clare West in the red, white, and blue jacket, five lengths to Gold Haven. Next is my Trump card with Cool Avon Boy and Ken Brace. And Buddy One and El Popo Chapo and the man in the boats. And on the inside is the make the bend is Nimbus Boy with Man from Inverlochy and Bessie Bradley. And next on the outside is Harvard Guy with Raven. And running the rail is Flashy Dude as they get well strung out, jumping the flight along the side of the track. Captain's nephew, another one of the back markers, and struggling badly and detached is Annie LeCullum. Reaching the halfway stage, heading down the back straight. In the lead by two lengths is Goody Shiva from Steel Cable, Japers Jack Ferrum Footings, Flying Spurs Summer Melody and Grange Clear West. That's the leading group. Five in front of My Trump Card and Gold Haven and Buddy One next with Kin Brace and Kulavan Boy, Nimbus Boy and the Man in the Boots and El Popo Chapo and Mad from Inverlochy and Captain's Nephew and Flashy Dude, who's followed by Harvard Guy and Raven as they return to their point of departure. Bessie Bradley out the bag and he looked cut him and has tailed off. At the end of a circuit, Returning to their point of departure, another four flights left, seven furlongs to go, and it is Kudashiv and Rachel Blackmore continuing a two-length leader from Steel Cable. Brian Cooper on the outside of Japers Jack and Brian Hayes. In between horses is Fedham Footings and Jack Kennedy as they link up with the final flight in the back straight. Slight mistake, Fedham Footings. Behind the top four is the Flying Spur and Grange Clear West and then Summer Melody. Being pulled up as any look column as they turn out of the far side. Kudashiva with a reduced advantage of just over the length. Ferrum Footings has picked up the chase in second. And Japers Jack and Summer Melody in the Flying Spur next. Followed by Grange Clare West dropping out tamely a steel cable. And then Mike Trump Card and Buddy One next with Gold Haven and Captain's Nephew. Followed by Kin Brace as they reach the final half mile. Kudashiva joined on the outside by Ferrum Footings. Two lengths behind them in third finds Japers Jack and Summer Melody Grange Square Lest is starting to creep into contention ahead of the Flying Spur. And then a bit of a break to Mike from Card, who's followed around the bend by Buddy One and Gold Haven, and then Captain's Nephew and Kin Brace coming towards the third last flight, the top of the track. And it's Kudi Shiva from Ferrum Footings, not much between them, followed by Grange Clare West, who's closing to go after them in third. Followed by Japers Jack and Summer Melody gets reminders, then Buddy One and the Flying Spur and Mike Trump Card coming to the second last. Kudi Shiva, the fractional leader. 
leader from Fedham Footings. On the outside, coming up to them is Grange Clare West. These three break away from Japers Jack and Summer Melody as they come to the final flight. And it's Grange Clare West looming for Paul Townend to come and claim the long time leader. Kuda Sheevan, then Fedham Footings and Japers Jack. But it's Grange Clare West up the hill, stretching right away for a most comprehensive victory. Is picking up where he left off a year and a half ago. Grange Clare West will keep his unbeaten record going. Has won by a widening 12 lengths, if not more. Fedham Footings might be second from Kuda Shiva, finishing well was my trump. Paul, a long, long way to get back to the track for this fella on that performance. That was surely going to be worth it, isn't it? Yeah, I hope it's not as long again because I wouldn't mind throwing my leg over him another time. A uh, lot to like about him. Jump big, uh, loads of scope. You'd love to face down to a fence in him in time. And, um, can only improve for it, yeah. Looked a strong maiden hurdle beforehand as well. Do you think it'll turn out that way? I think so. We went nice even gallop and they kept it up and the, the right ones were kind of there, you know, down the straight, I thought. So, yeah, hopefully it can be onwards and upwards. Yeah. I, in terms of his future prospects, is that a good fit for him now at that sort of distance? I think so, for the time being, anyway. Um, he, you know, he could have started over two. It was just the race was two and a half today. Um, what I say, he couldn't go back to two, no, and uh, he just needs to slicken up his jumping a little bit, but that'll come. Yeah, absolutely, and tell me this fighter, Alan, later on, I know you've been a bit disappointed with him overall, it'd be a good day to put it all together, though, wouldn't it? It would, I wouldn't <laughs> complain anyway. Um, no, look, he's he has been disappointing, disappointing in the north, hopefully he's come on for that, he was very fresh and gassy and keen up there. Um, yeah. It's going to be hard for him today on, on all known form, but... Hopefully he can show us why he shows us at home today. <laughs> Wish you well. Thank Cheers. You Appreciate Thanks. it.